Hello everyone and welcome to a game you may not have expected. Crusader Kings 2, a subscriber of mine, recommended this a while ago and I checked it out and I've played it a little bit. Um, and basically we're going to be, be doing this. So uh, yeah, we have this view here that is Independent Realms but anyway I'm going to explain what this game is. So as you can see we've got a map of Europe in 1066 and we can change the time and put up by several hundred years the map changes but basically we command a kingdom and we have to make sure that that kingdom stays intact and actually the main goal of this entire game, I'll just go back so you can see the main, main menu yeah so we're in single player anyway the main goal of the whole thing is to keep your family alive until the end of time essentially well, not time, but end of the time that it allows, so that'd be 1337. Oh, ho, ho. it's late. Okay, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically what you've got to do. You've got to keep your dynasty alive. And I'm th I've thought really hard about like who we should go. I've I have been the king of Scotland before because I'm Scottish, sort of. I don't know why I picked him, but. Yeah, King Malcolm III, I've been him, but as soon as he died and his son took over, the entire land kind of just went crazy, and I don't know why, really. Uh, probably because we lost a bonus that the king had for his long reign or something, but anyway. Basically, I was doing well here until my king died, and then my heir inherited the land, and everything went to shit. Civil war just everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's what happened there. I tried playing as the Holy Roman Empire once, but there's just too much here. Look at all this. It's just too much to manage, and Tuscany rebelled, and I, I kind of lost as well. Um, but over here, uh, I've played a few games over here, and I've played a couple of like even multiplayer games with some friends. And Galicia, I went them, and I had another friend who went Leon, another one who went Castile, and another who went Navarra. Um, and basically, we sort of fought against the Islamic factions down here and basically crushed them. Well, we were crushing them, but we're still got to continue that save. It's pretty fun. It's pretty damn fun. I liked it a lot. We had a holy war actually for uh, Toledo and stuff, and it was pretty. F it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, that's basically my experience with this game. I've not really went over into this area or anything but that's probably for later on but from what I've heard the noob island from basically all the forums all of the forum posts that I've read have told me that Ireland is the noob area and I tried going connect um, and I conquered most of Ireland but then I started ended up with a civil war again yeah anyone know how to keep your men in line and stop a civil war happening let me know because holy crap that shit is annoying so I'm thinking of going... Hmm, should I go? Not even sure. I could start off with one province, I suppose, but maybe quite hard. Uh, Dublin? Hmm, where should we start? I'm not sure. There's two fact there's two provinces here that are held by... Uh, hmm, or we could start in Wales, actually. Could start in Wales, that's not a bad idea actually, and then we could conquer across here. I think that's is that let us go across? I think it does. Could we start in Wales? What do you think? Do you think we should do this? Starting in Wales could be pretty good. Who's this? King Harold. Don't want the king getting involved. Damn it, is this guy Let me just have a look. Uh yeah, I'm not sure who to go, really. Oh, he's... His lieges. The Duke of G Gwynedd? Gwynedd, yeah. I never know how to say Welsh names or anything, but uh, we could start in Wales, actually. That's not too bad. Although, I think I'd rather start in Ireland, really. Um, maybe we could go this guy. The Duke of Munster. As you can see, if I zoom out, the map changes a little bit. Monster, we could do, do, go here, take Desmond, and move up north. Um, I'm considering it, guys. I'm considering it. What do you think? Hmm. Starting as England would be really hard. Starting as Scotland, I don't really like starting with a kingdom. I'd rather build my own. So, fuck it. Let's uh, start as Duke Murchad, but we're going to change him. 
so that oh we can have a wound I don't know yeah let's just randomize this till we get one that's not silly uh come on give me a good one give me someone who doesn't look ridiculous that guy could do but nah his crown sort of weird can I change his crown doesn't seem like I can change his clothes Come on, give me someone who doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. That's not bad. Uh, let's keep going. Crazy guy. Come on, come on, give me someone. Maybe I should like name my guy Hitler or something. <laughs> I'd probably get flagged on YouTube or something. Give me someone who doesn't look like they suck. Come on, why are all these stupid... Let's get... Oh. This guy has potential. Uh, how do I change his... Ah. Oh fuck. Give him a bit of a... Oh fuck, he looks crazy. Oh my god. Holy shit, that guy's... That guy just looks crazy. Okay. I think we should pick this guy. Young. Holy crap. Yeah, let's pick this guy. He looks fucking... Like a crazy dude. Just give him a bit of a beard. I'm notorious for these customizations. Okay. You can always skip past this if you want, remember that, but. Oh my god, I would watch it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Um, coat of arms. We'll just leave it as the way it. I should maybe want to make it really bright. So. I kind of like it being green, that's kind of cool. We'll leave it as green, but we'll change this to red or something. Yeah, that's it, that looks cool. Coat of arms is done. Attributes, now this is very important. So you have to kind of. I'm going to change my name. Uh, da -da -da. And what will it be called? The Monsters. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just going to call them Monster. Took Neil the first of Monster. <laughs> right, education, let's pick what have we got here? Want some want quite a bit of money, so I'm thinking of going for this. I think I will, made us touch. Alright, so you notice that as we pick traits our age increases, it's a way of limiting us. So that we don't have like a godlike character who's sixteen years old. So we'll pick excommunicated mainly to get our age down because we can get rid of that after a few turns and we can go to the Pope and say we're sorry, please don't leave us excommunicated. Pick Genius, Genius is the best trait in the game I think. Plus 5 to everything, gotta have that. Put your age up though, which is kinda bad. Hedonists, I could take that. Lowers my age, take that. Lustful, also lowers your age. Uh, I think I'll take that. Um. Being greedy helps, it gives you more tax bonuses. Envious. Slothful. Gluttonous. Oh dear. Um, deceitful. Deceitful is actually pretty good. I'll take that. Ambitious. Gregarious. Uh, yeah, this could take me a while. You might want to skip this part if you want. If you want. Uh, content. We could take content. Being content, uh, yeah, that can help. Okay, being content gives us plus 50 piety. By the way, I'll explain as much as I can when we get into this. Hopefully, by the end of this, you'll know more about the game, maybe even be able to play it yourself, because this is a complicated game. I think I've actually done there. Uh, am I done? I don't know. Content, deceitful. We can get rid of. We should get rid of Lust for Hedonist. Which one's the worst? Get rid of Hedonist. Okay, we got rid of it. Now, here's an interesting path thing that we can do. Hold on. Could put our health up if we wanted. Oh my god, I can put a lot up. Okay, let's put stewardship up a bit. Make our guy pretty damn good with taxes. Let's put. What else do we want? Diplomacy? Do we want diplomacy? I don't know. Put up to ten. Um 
good god, man. Okay, we'll put that up. No. This is looking pretty good, actually. We've got quite a few good traits here, and we're Midas touched. Actually, our stewardship's already godlike, so I can put that down to like six. Um, diplomacy will go up once it's communicated, it's gone as well, so that will jump up by five. I've got to keep that in mind, so I'll leave that at ten. Intrigue, put that up. That should do, really. I mean, I don't see any reason to really boost any of this. Maybe I get a sun. Nah, we'll get plenty of suns. So if we leave this like this, we're starting off pretty damn good. Age 27, we've got 10 diplomacy, 12 martial, 20 stewardship, 15 intrigue. This is all very good. Like, holy crap. Um, maybe put intrigue up a bit more. To 20. Is there anything else we could do? I don't, don't really think there is. Educate. Made this touch is so good because it gives you 9 stewardship, picture for telly and stuff. It's really, really good. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, Marshall. Does Marshall help us? I don't know how much that helps us. I think I'm going to leave Marshall where it is. Intrigue is. We could go down to 18, I think. We don't want our character to be too old. Put down 15. Okay, that should do. And we're pretty much done. So that is our character. And we're going to jump in. Let's do this. I'll, I'll explain as much as I can. It's going to take me a while, but I will do it, guys. Alright, game's paused right now. It's always paused when you start. Now, right away, let's have a look at our tabs here. We're not married, so first thing we want to do is get married. Um, We've got all these up here that tell us everything. We've got not got an heir, and we're not married. So, I want to go down here to find characters tab. Search all. This allows you to search everything on the entire map. Every single person is here. So, I'm going to filter these by women, not married, my culture, yes. Actually, no. Any. My religion, yes. Adult. Yes, so now we've filtered this by all of the potential brides, but if we sort it by intrigue and stuff, the geniuses jump to the top quite quickly, so you want to marry a genius, because it's a trait that can be passed on to your sons and daughters, and it's quite important to have that. So maybe we could go for stewardship, I don't know, diplomacy, high diplomacy. So I'm looking for a genius right now. And I can't seem to find any, which is bad. Quick, she's quick. Hmm, maybe we won't need to marry a genius because we're already one, which means that our kids will have a role to become a genius. That's all quite high. So if I sort it by rank, we've got all these duchesses and queens and princesses. Um, Queen Mother of Scotland. If we can get a queen... Hmm... See, this is kind of difficult. This is this could take a while. Holy shit! Um, I don't. I didn't see any. Let's not sort it by our. Let's just put it any. Sort by Marshall. No. Sort by diplomacy. Strong. We might need to settle for someone who's not a genius. Uh, if we can't find one, stewardship. There's got to be though. There's always geniuses. I've never had a. Quick, she's quick, which is like a tier below. It's not quite genius, but it's pretty damn high. But she's orthodox, so I don't know. Maybe marry her. She's potential. She's quick as well. She's actually better, probably Catholic. Um, she's pretty damn good actually. There's quite a few potential ones. A lot of them are quick, but none of them are geniuses, which is kind of annoying. God, there's got to be a genius here somewhere. There's one, but she's tingry, so she's not she's not really suitable because she's not a religion. I should probably yes. All right, guys, bear with me here because we will find someone quick. Looking for geniuses again. She keeps coming up. Actually, it's not hard. Someone else. Alright, well, we can only really find ones who are quick, so I am 
essentially going to have to sell for someone who's quick and not a genius. By the looks of it. Which isn't too bad, as long as they've got that trait, that's fine. Okay, so let's scroll down. We're almost done, I just need to find that person again. Where is she? This her. Quick. Humble. No, we don't want that. Damn it, I thought I had someone. <sighs> Why have I lost them? You guys must be face palming so much right now. Alright, quick. That's that's the person I was looking for, I think. No, she's orthodox, we don't want her. It's her I was interested in. Yeah, let's let's get her. Okay, now arranged marriage. Okay, this is kinda good. Let's do it, let's get her for a bride. So we've sent the request to marry her. Then we can start having heirs. We're only 27, which is good, and we've got we are a genius and we've got quite a few good traits. So this will be pretty interesting. Now that's the that's all of the marriage sorted. Now pick an ambition. You can select your ambitions here, which is not really intuitive. Get married is the one I'm gonna select. It gives you prestige. Now I'll explain this. This is your gold per turn that you get earned from all your holdings of your territories. Um, basically gold lets you build things, lets you recruit mercenaries and stuff, it's really obvious what gold does. Prestige is like your status, sort of. The more prestige you have, the more options you have to do things, sort of. As you can see we have a monthly prestige. Um, it actually explains here, it's a measure of your success and lets you carry special actions, so it's like how kingly you are and stuff. Piety is obvious, that's just how much the head of the church likes you and stuff. Um, it's not really that useful as long as it's positive. Des Demens, is that how you say that? I don't even know how the fuck you say that. Demes... Demesne. I think that's how you say it, Demesne? Demes... I, I no idea, someone tell me how to say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically this is 1 out of 6, that means I control 1 out of 6 of my holdings and the other one's controlled by my vassal. 6 is not the actual amount of holdings we have, it's the max amount of holdings you're allowed to possess before you have a tax penalty. Uh, and this is realm size, so yeah, there's 6 holdings actually. I'm going to take them all. So, I've explained a little bit of that. So we can attack Desmond it seems. Um, we don't have a strong military, but I'm about to change that by doing something. Okay, so we, why can't we... I find this strange that we can't just revoke our titles straight from them. Maybe give them some kind of duty like cupbearer or something. Um, let's just give them titles, let's make them happy by giving them titles here. I have no fucking idea why they're unhappy. Alright, now can we actually revoke our titles. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's just do it anyway. See what they say. Okay, so I've sent a way to revoke all their titles. I should be able to do it, and it's never really failed before for me, so. Oh, one of them's mad. He's not going to let me take his title. So, already we've got a civil war, which is bullshit, really. Hmm, so this guy is mad. Okay, well we'll just raise our levies and sit here and siege this guy. We can collect attacks or prestige, let's gain prestige. Okay. Okay, I've fulfilled the ambition to get married, so I need to pick a new one. So basically, what do we need to do here? Have a daughter, have a son, let's pick that one. So he wants to have a son. Alright, so we've revoked all of the titles, I think, apart from... Oh shit, here they come. Okay, we've raised more levies, and we're killing these guys off. They're coming for me. Oh my god, so we've got a massive civil war on our hands already, which is ridiculous. If it comes to it, I will recruit mercenaries and destroy them. I think this is happening because, I mean, I've created a custom ruler and custom rulers aren't really approached very well by AI 
they don't like custom rulers for some reason. Um, so yeah, this doesn't normally happen. If I had picked the default ruler, they would have not done this. And what is this? So we get a lot of options in the game as well, like this. I'm sorry if this is like me all over the place, but I'm trying to explain my best as this goes along. It's kind of fast paced. All right, so rough terrain expert. No, we don't want that. Cavalry leader. Light foot troops. Let's focus on light troops. Okay. So we're fighting right now. There's a battle going on. This is the details. This window is quite complex. But all you need to know is the, these little kit, this little bar here and here is like our morale, and we're beating them back, so we're winning the war. But yeah, we've won essentially. Oh shit, we've been wounded, which is really bad. But shit happens, so. Okay, so now we're assaulting our Hogan as well. Alright, this is good. This is really good. Okay, you now you want peace yet, or. Not P doesn't want peace. I don't know, this is. I doubt this guy will want peace either. So we're sieging our castle, we're the attackers, and the, they are the defenders. We've got about the same amount of men. But we're starving them out. We can assault the holding if we want, like actually assault the walls. But typically that's a really bad idea unless you've got a hell of a lot of men. This is like the... Oh yeah, I should have explained. These are all the tabs. The council tab, for example. I, I would want to fabricate claims and... Where do we want? This is like... In order to take territories, you need to have a claim. So we're going for connect. We're going to get a claim there. First. Because you can't just walk around and invade lands, you have to have a claim on it as a duke, as a royal kind of aristocratic guy. You can't just march around and take everything you want. I wish you could sometimes, I really do. <laughs> but you can't. Alright, I'm just telling my... these are my counsellors, these are like my main men. You've, if you've ever seen counsellors on... on like a... Uh, like in Game of Thrones, for example, where you've got the Master of Whispers, that's like the Spy Master and stuff. So, yeah, you, can, you understand that. Master of Coin, Master of Diplomacy and stuff. You get it. The game auto saves at the end of every year, and our siege is going well. For almost one. Defenders, so, oh, victory. Alright, so, let's go and talk to this dude. Does he want peace? No. Wait a minute. Where is he? Oh my god, I can't even select him properly. No, not this guy. Duchy of Munster. This guy, this is a guy I want to talk to. All for peace. Enforced demands. He's imprisoned by me and he loses turn prestige. I gain prestige. So, we're at peace with that guy who was rebelling and he's in our jail now. We've captured him. So, this settlement is now under our control again. And we should be able to recruit more men, but we can't, it seems. Hmm. Okay, so let's just raise our vassals again. I mean, our units. We're going for this one now. This is the other guy who's rebelling. So we're going to crush him as quickly as we can. He's in our jail. We can revoke his title now because he's a traitor, so let's do that. Alright, so we've gained the city, we can raise... We should be able to raise more men, actually. Oh no, we can't. Not yet. Okay, so we've gained this here, this is the city of Limerick. Limerick, so, yeah. And we didn't have control of it, but we just conquered it there, because that guy was rebelling, because we tried to take away his title and he didn't want us to take it away. But, tough shit. He doesn't get to decide. I am the Dutch, so... I mean, I'm the Duke, so... Yeah, that guy doesn't get to the sides. What happens to... What the hell? Alright. Uh, let that guy rot in prison. He's not getting out. He's a traitor. He didn't obey his lords. His liege. So fuck him. Oh my god. We don't have enough men to actually assault this city. Look, they've got more defenders than we do attackers, so... We're probably going to have to just... Oops. Alright. We've got a scar now, so let's just have a look at that. 
Where's a scar? Scars. I should gain prestige for that. Scars are good, it seems. Alright, so we're gonna go back here and crush whatever the hell this is. This slow army here. Um, we don't have enough men to assault. We've lost too many men, so we need to wait and kind of regenerate our our military. This is quite a dangerous start. I didn't think that this would be as crazy as it is. This is freaking nuts. We can press claims in Desmond as well, but we don't want to yet. And we're still... Oh, man, pause. So we're going to travel back here, kill these 12 men off, and then kind of sit here and wait until we gain more men. Victory. Alright, let's just dismiss our levies. We'll let them build up over the years. This guy... He's a fucker. He doesn't... He doesn't want peace. He won't have peace until I come up to his gates and burn his city to the ground. I'm not actually going to do that though. I want to capture the city. So now I'm just basically waiting for my men to regenerate. Uh, oh, hold on though. Marshal, train troops here. So that will let him train more troops. Our marshal is obviously the guy who's in command of everything, all of our military. Our wife is pregnant. That's really good. Get some genius babies on the way. We've got quite a bit of gold. We're doing pretty well, actually, despite our shaky start. And we start in Ireland, not in England or anything, so this is quite secure. Alright, so... Stewards of the air, oh my god. Okay, let's just... Holy fuck. Chancellor, you're gonna... I'll give you a title. Maybe you cut there. Keep you happy. Let's make our marshal kind of happy as well. Award him a title of Master of the Hunt. We're just awarding titles because it keeps people happy, gives them prestige, keeps them very happy actually. Uh, let's just take these boxes so that none of our councillors get to command armies and then rebel against us. This game's all about fine rebellions pretty much, it's ridiculous. You can see that these stripes mean that this land has been taken by Norway it seems. and. There's a civil war in Scotland, it seems. England's just raging. Norway's invading England, so this is the time of William the Conqueror and stuff. Military is increasing. It's taking a bit of time now. Alright. So yeah, we wait basically until we have enough men to attack. I wait till I get 300 men. And... Just refreshing this so I can see. Okay. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. They won't regenerate their men at all, really. They won't. Well, they've got eight men, that's which is nothing, so. Alright, we've got enough men now, so let's just raise our men again. As you can see, we've got more, so we charge across here. I'm gonna take this place. We've got a son. Uh, that's a weird name. Let's just call him. I don't know. What's a generic name for lords? Uh, what would we call him? Robert or something? Let's just call him Robert. Keep it simple. So we fulfilled another ambition, which gave us more prestige. I think it gave us something. I'm not even sure what it gave us actually. Let's, I'm quite new to this game as well, so let's have a daughter. That's the next ambition. Let's just check this. It's our plot here. We can actually plot to kill our wife. We don't want to do that. Oh, we've got a victory. So, oh, we still can't siege. Oh, that sucks. That's missing my men because, yeah, we need. Oh shit! What the hell? What the hell? Did we just lose men there? What the fuck just happened? Yeah, I think I just made a massive mistake there. Oh my god! Actually, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I can actually load that game, I think. So bear with me here. Because I don't want that shit to happen.
Alright, here we go. We've loaded the game again. Sorry about that. I made I made a really stupid mistake. I was meant to march my men back and then disband them. You're not meant to disband them when they're in enemy territory. It's a really stupid mistake. Uh, we can actually we can actually build more stuff in our holdings here. This is a city. So, for example, if we want to increase our monthly balance, we would build what would we build a town market. So let's build that. So we're building a market. We spent all the gold on it. And it'll increase our income per turn, per month, sorry. So I used to say per turn because it was total war. Okay, we've arrived. Disband unit. Okay. So it worked that time because we're in our territory. So we need 360 men roughly, I think, to assault them. To siege them properly, so we'll just wait until we've got that. What else is going on? We've got these decisions as well, but we can't do that yet. I'll teach you guys about that later. This is just the religion tab, get the military tab, technology tab. Technology is mostly just ignored by me. I don't really get far enough to bother with it. So everything's going quite smoothly. Um, we have a claim on Desmond, so we can actually declare war on this guy and claim this. And defeat him and take it over. So we'll be doing that after we've managed to secure Ormond again. Well, this was really a shaky start. I've never had a start this chaotic. This was nuts, man. And they're building, they've got three men, brilliant. <laughs> As if that's gonna, oh shit, they've actually got quite a few men there. That's not good. I'm just gonna build up. They're building up too, but screw them. I think they actually bought mercenaries there. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to keep building up, there's nothing else I can do. Maybe wait till we've got 500 men and attack. That should be sufficient. Fuck it, we'll go now. Let's get in there. Kill them all. Okay, hopefully we'll have enough men left over after this to siege them. I think we will. Barely. Oh, come on, come on, do yes, good, yes. And now we're just going to siege them and win. Oh, we've captured the guy, that's good. Alright, so... Oh, that's nice, levy reinforcements plus 50%. Alright, so they're trying to siege us, but they can't, they don't have enough men, so they really can't, literally can't do anything, they can just sit there and wait for all I care. Whereas me, I have more men, I have more attackers than they have defenders, and a town market's been built. That's good. Income's going to increase because of that. So basically, we just siege them, and it can take quite some time. So, wait, have we got a son? We do. Ambition is to have a daughter, okay. We'll just fast forward a lot, because... Oh. Okay, that's just the basic stuff that happens during sieges. Yeah, fast forward quite a lot there. My liege, I collected the Typhon Thurmond, the money shoot. Oh, that's just tax collecting. That's, that's, that's good. That guy did well. Alright, fast forward again. Alright, so we have victory. Now, will this guy surrender yet? No. So we're sieging another. Oh, he's praying again. That's good. So we're sieging another part of his kingdom. Waterford Castle has already been taken, so we're going for his. Bishop then, as well as Bishop place and something else, I think. Okay, will you surrender now, good sir? No, he will not. So we need to siege everything he's got, and we've almost done it. So, and when that's done, I'm gonna he'll become a vassal, I think maybe again. I'll imprison him, and then I'll revoke his title, like a just king. Victory. So now, get peace. Alright, so there we go. He's in jail. We control all of this. And basically, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to him. I'm going to revoke his title. Because it's a prick. And now we control everything. So we now have control of all of the military. Which is amazing. So we can get up to 871 men. So we are in quite a strong position here in Ireland now. Despite all that chaos. 
Our income is going to increase again. Yeah, we're in a very strong position here. So once our once we've got 800 men, I'm gonna go to Desmond and take that as well. 